video, we're going to talk about the two main categories of valves that DEMA has to offer, the pilot piston and the diaphragm valves. The A series and the high pressure valves are our pilot piston valves. There is a piston on the inside that travels up and down freely and a plunger that acts on that piston. When the plunger is on the piston, it commands the valve to close. And when the plunger comes off the piston, it actually opens up, letting the water flow through the valve. Much like the pilot piston valves, the diaphragm valves have a diaphragm on the inside with a plunger that acts on the diaphragm. As the plunger acts on the diaphragm, it closes the valve off and closes off the water flow. As it is removed from the diaphragm, it allows the water to flow through the valve. For both of these valves, there are two main failure modes to look at, a failure to close and a failure to open. Typically, with a failure to close, <clears throat> on the diaphragm or on the piston, you're going to have some sort of scoring that's happened from debris that's gone through the valve. As that debris goes through the valve and scores up either your Teflon seed or your diaphragm itself, it's going to leave a leak path for water to get through the valve. A failure to open is a little bit different situation and typically can be looked at through the eyes of voltage applied to the coil. You always want to make sure that you're supplying the right voltage and amperage to the coil itself so that it has enough power to open up the valve. <clears throat> Both of the valves can be used in plenty of different situations. The diaphragm valves are better utilized in a situation where water quality is poorer or there might be debris and particulate in the water. And the A series is better when you have water that has been filtered or treated before it goes through the valve. For more information on our valves, check out our website 